Hey guys, it's Mike, your host of Craft Beer Storm. How are you today? It is Wednesday. That means we have beer styles. We go down the Great American Beer Festival uh, list of beers. Uh, there's 102 of them, and they have subcategories. And uh, there's more beer than just lagers and IPAs. There's a lot more beers. Um, and this week we're, we're focusing in on dark lager and in this category, there's two subcategories. And the first one is uh, American-style dark lager. And the color on these are, are light brown to very dark. Uh, clarity appearance should be bright, and the chill haze uh, should not be present. The perceived malt aroma and flavor. There's a low malt aroma and flavor, uh, which may include low levels of caramel. Perceived hop aroma and flavor is low to very low, so it's not really a hoppy beer. Uh, the perceived bitterness is very low to low, and it dissipates quickly. And the body on this beer is low, and uh, it is the ABV is uh, 4.1 to 5.6%, so it's a nice, nice ABV. So, you know, it's a dark lager. It's a lager. Um, you know, low body, but uh, um, a little bit lighter. Uh, light brown to very dark. Um, then you're you're like stout or something like that. Uh, but it is a lager. The second category is a German style Schwartz beer, and we got a description curse courtesy of Beer Advocate. Uh, the Schwartz beer is simply German for black beer. It doesn't mean that it's uh, necessarily heavy or light in body, although most examples tend to be lighter. Unlike porters and stouts and other dark beers, they are not overly bitter uh, with burnt and heavily roasted malt characteristics that these styles tend to depend on. Instead, hops are used to achieve a good portion of the bitterness. It's smooth on the palate, soul-lifting and refreshing with a dry finish. Schwartz beers make a great alternative in the winter months, especially when you're looking for a lighter beer. But one with depth and color and a bittersweet taste that might bring to mind coffee, cocoa, or licorice. So when you see dark in beer, guys, it doesn't mean that it's like a loaf of bread. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people are scared. They see dark beer. And we're trying to educate people on this because we make a lot of dark beers. We make porters and, and stouts, which are not really crazy heavy, uh, but they are flavorful. And, and that's what the Schwarz beer is. That's another style that's very flavorful and not, not crazy heavy. And the color on these is very dark brown to black with a pale colored head. Uh, clarity, dark color, maybe too dark to perceive. And when clarity is perceivable, chill haze should not be present. Perceived malt aroma and flavor. Uh, medium malt aroma displays a mild roasted malt character. And malt sweetness is low to medium and displays a mild roasted malt character without the bitterness. Perceived hop aroma and flavor, it's very low to low and derived from noble type hops. And perceived bitterness is low to medium and the body is low to medium low. So it's a light body. Uh, the ABV is 3.8 to 4.9%, so it's a nice uh, sessionable beer. And glassware, what the, what the serving in, a Pilsner glass, which is typically a tall, slender, and tapered 12-ounce glass which accentuates the beer and you enjoy it. Cur uh, examples, courtesy of Beer Advocate at uh, www.beeradvocate.com. Great source for information. Um, first example is Schwartz beer. And that's uh, Kustritzer Schwartz beer Brauerei. And they are in Germany. I might be mangling that. So if you're, if you're German, you want to correct me, send me, <laughs> you know, let me know make a video and post it on uh on Facebook uh about the proper pronounce pronounce it, pronunciation but I'm American so you got to forgive me anyway style is a german schwartz beer and the alcohol by volume abv is 4.8% sessionable and notes from the brewery first class refined ingredients the unique recipe and a passionate brewing tradition that you can taste Kostritzer Schwartz beer 
stands for pleasure and perfection. It is the unique roasting of, malt, of malting barley to the finest roasted malt, which gives Kostritzer Schwartz beer its unique malt aroma and unmatched character. The market leader in the segment of bottom fermented dark beers presents itself in an elegant, bubbly and elegant manner uh, and promises a special kind of beer experience at first sight with its strong color and pronounced foam crown. So that's from the brewery. Translated into English, right? It's German on the website, but I translated it through Google Translate. So hopefully it came out okay. If not, send me an email. Michael at crapbeerstorm.com. Second example is Baba Black Lager. Brewed by Uni, Uinta Brewing Company in Utah. Uh, the style is German Schwartz beer. Uh, ABV is 4%, so it's sessionable. And notes from the brewery, robust and smooth, this full-flavored lager is exceptionally drinkable and pitch black in color. This black lager has flavors of dark coffee, chocolate, and subtle wood smoke. Our black sheep's color stands out and leads the herd in drinkability. And it's a low IBU, it's a 32 uh, IBU, which is International Bitterness Unit. We went went through this in the uh, in previous episodes. International Bitterness Units is from zero to a hundred. Zero means there's no hops at all that are noticeable, and hundred is is crazy hoppy. So that's your uh, IBU on that thirty two, and that is your dark lager. Uh, if you like what we're doing, you like our uh, podcast, you like what we're presenting to you, please go on iTunes, give us a rating, give us a review. It means the world to me. It's the only way we can get up in rate, ranking, right? There's a lot of older podcasts that are not even in existence anymore that are ranking. I don't understand. We do three times a week. Mondays we do, um, we interview a brewer or uh, you know founder of a brewery. Or mover and shaker in the industry, 360. We review everybody with craft beer, packaging, whatever. On Wednesdays, we do this. We give you beer styles to go over a different style every week. And then on Fridays, we do craft brew news, the drama of craft beer. We summarize it and we get it to you on Fridays. So that's our show for today. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Um, and we'll see you on Friday. Take care. <music>